today is a very special day if you are a Back to the Future fanatic like I am. Get ready to geek out with the Vlognosis. Let's take a look at some rare Back to the Future swag. A few years back, I actually bumped into Jeffrey Wiesman and um, I got him to sign this photograph. You can see his signature in the corner right here. I actually bumped into him later after the event while I was hiking on a trail in the Smoky Mountains above Gatlinburg in Tennessee. So I've actually been hiking with George McFly. This is the actual Krupp's coffee grinder that they used to create the Mr. Fusion in the movies Back to the Future. Um, years ago there was a guy that found a batch of these in Europe and uh, he you know applied the stickers to them took out the the motor inside here that ground the coffee and then sold them online so this you know it's a little bit beat up because I actually had it on the back of my car you know you you would put your coffee beans in the top and then uh, click this button and grind them select your grind level and then they would, uh, the grounds would appear in here. So this is a really neat item that I've had for quite a long time and I've had a lot of fun with it. Here we have a scale model of the Back to the Future DeLorean with the Mr. Fusion on board and the hover conversion kit. It's currently in hover mode. There is a way to change this. I don't remember how actually. And then the doors open and close. This is actually a really nice model. Um, it it features like a brushed sort of stainless steel look and a lot of the items open and close. There's a good amount of detail on here. And then just behind it I have the USA Today. This was the paper that was actually released by USA Today. If you ever get the chance to read one of these uh, you know, these headlines are pretty hilarious. Here are some matchbooks that they actually used to sell at Universal Studios. Cafe 80s, and then Biff's Pleasure Palace, and then uh, just a generic Back to the Future logo. So I, I doubt the Cafe 80s would have had matchbooks, but, but Biff's, Biff Tannen's Pleasure Palace is my favorite because, you know, this this is an item that would have been at his casino. Over here, we have a notepad. This is an item that they used to sell at Universal Studios, and it's in the shape of a DeLorean time machine. And each sheet has a little image of the time machine in the background. Just kind of a neat collectible. Here is the original paperback version of Back to the Future. It's a little bit beat up, but and the pages are, are pretty yellowed these days, but um, I don't know. I don't really see these too much. This is a box from the original soundtrack. Years ago, when you used to buy physical CDs, they would come in boxes like this, and they were full of artwork and a track list and, and some details and logos and stuff. So this is kind of a survivor from that era. This was the translation from record to CD and you still had a good amount of artwork and you really felt like you were buying something substantial when a CD came in a box like this. Now, you know, you buy the little jewel case if you buy a disc at all. It's not, not as satisfying. This is my collection of Back to the Future Happy Meal toys. These Happy Meal toys were all based on the cartoon version of the Back to the Future movies. So that's why they're a little bit um, strange. They don't really portray the characters as they are in the movies. There's a button, a pin that you can wear. This was something that used to be stocked at Universal Studios. They actually had, right next to the ride, they had a store, a gift shop, and it was all Back to the Future stuff. So when that first opened, I think I bought everything in there. 
This isn't necessarily Back to the Future, but I keep it with my collection because it's a key from an actual DeLorean. Here's the Save the Clock Tower flyer. Uh, you know, it's a recreation of the one seen in the movie. Um, these might be fairly easy to come by these days, but when the movie came out, it was almost impossible to find something like this. So I've had these for a long, long time. This is another item that used to be sold at the gift shop at Universal Studios. It's, uh, well, you know, it's Doc's visor and uh, it has a strap. You can put it on your head and it acts as uh, sunglasses. You know, it just kind of it just kind of uh, tints what you're looking at. It darkens it like sunglasses. You can see there's a Universal Studios logo right there. Universal Studios Hollywood. And then on this side was the Back to the Future logo. Another great item from the gift shop at Universal Studios was this bumper sticker. What are you looking at, butthead? It's a Hot Wheels Back to the Future DeLorean. I think I looked for about three months in every store I could find um, to come across one of these. So I'm happy I found it. Here's another oldie but goodie. This was sold at the gift shop at Universal Studios. And it's just, uh, it's Griff's hat. And it has a strap to keep it on your head. Today, items like this seem really easy to come by on places like eBay, but back then, they were really hard to find. So I really hung on to stuff like this, and you know, this is this is one of my favorites. I really like the design of this license plate. At some point, there was a Back to the Future comic book, and it was based on the Saturday morning cartoon series. These are neat. They are really tiny versions of some of the cars from the movies. You can see how big that is compared to my finger. Really, really tiny. But I don't I haven't really seen these anywhere. These are all over the place and they're played out. But it's something that I still enjoy having. You know, it's nice if you have your DeLorean, you can just kind of put this on the dashboard and people walking by that know the movie are going to get the joke. When you used to go into Universal Studios, the gift shops would all have these photographs of scenes from movies or, you know, headshots of famous actors. They don't really do that as much now because everybody has the internet and a printer, so it's not a big deal. But back then, it was nice to buy a high quality color photograph from your favorite movie. I mean, this is thick, thick paper and the image is super high quality. But again, back then, this is not something you could do at home. So technology has sort of obsoleted items like this, but I still keep them because, you know, they, I, have, I have memories attached to these. I guess these were also postcards. I didn't really see postcards much anymore. People don't really utilize them as much as they used to. Here's a cool thing to discover. Um, apparently at some point Target had a deal on discount seats for Back to the Future of the Ride. And uh, I guess I kept this coupon for safekeeping. The ride doesn't exist anymore, which is sad. This book just kind of goes over some of the uh, making of the movie. Uh, it has a map of the time-space continuum. You know, details about the characters, the train, um, blueprints, Doc's laboratory. Uh, Hill Valley, through the years, uh, clothing, time periods. So, um, different versions of the movie poster that, that never came to be. Good night, future boy!